Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will create a really interesting model. This is, will be sketch model in Revit. We will use Revit like a SketchUp. So I already choose the architecture template and we will create right now some reference planes and I will use the model in place to create my staircase. When you are creating, for example, some uh, when you want to make some models or when you want to sketch your idea, you able to use model in place. This is nothing wrong with that. And sometimes it's nothing wrong when you already doing your real model. So here is our staircase, as you can see. Now I am creating the double decking staircase, and I will use the, my previous. Uh, I, I'm using my previous staircase like a reference. So once I will did it, I will just extrude it as you can see, and I'm trying to connect it to the reference planes. Reference planes now I'm using only to create the our profile of our staircase. That's it. Once you will finish it, you are able to use void forms. Once you will create the void forms, you can cut your model in place. So this is best way to do it fast. So as you can see, I cut it uh, my my model in place and I did here the walls. Inside the walls will be something like garden, maybe there I will put some the trees. Uh, let's uh, change the unconnected height and of course don't forget change base offset because if you will not change it will be inside your model. I don't wanna it, it make some intersection inside my model. After that I creating the ramp. My ramp it's a bit, uh, you can say you can say, you can say it's a bit strange, but it's not. Actually I'm using the uh, floor and I'm changing uh, sub elements. This is also the one of the nice way when you can use the floor like a ramp, when you can use the floor like a floor or whatever you want. So this is no nothing wrong because the, don't forget this is model, uh, we're creating this mo sketchy model. So, and we just wanna get shape of our future idea. So I finished already two ramps. And now I'm using again the two floors to create something like a pad. And after that uh, we will change the height. So now uh, we spending the time to get the um, where is our uh, elevation, uh, data of our elevation. Because actually when you're creating some sketch models you don't use any right dimensions. I don't know how you're doing that, but I'm doing only uh, how I see it. If I see for example something uh, I, I should put uh, for example here the wall, I'm putting the wall and I don't think about the size. Because I don't think now about the rules. The same thing you can see right now on your screen because I'm not thinking about them in the sizes, I just thinking about whole composition. And now I'm using the walls and changing the uh, profile of the walls to just uh, close the holes inside my model. Because as you can see, I have some holes there, I don't wanna see that, and I'm using the walls to close it. I will do it around my model. Why around my model? Because maybe I will um, change the, my camera view to the another way, way. Uh, maybe I will find it more interesting, and I don't wanna redo it and spend time. That's why I'm doing it right now, to not spend time it later on. Once you will finish your model, just make sure all your lines it's connected each other. Uh, you will finish it right now, and don't forget about the floor where will be your grass, because I forget it about that, change the elevation of that, and this is happiness. So now we need to create the road. Let's create the road again. For to create the road, I'm using the floor, and this is not a bad way. Don't forget to change elevation of your road. Now we're starting to create our camera, let's find our camera in view and let's place camera where we want. Actually I wanna make a isometric view, so that's why I'm changing the camera view to uh, orthographic and I'm changing it to the isometric view on the my view cube and as you can see here is my future view. After that I, I wanna change the shadows and cast ambient light and as you can see we get what we get, so this is what I want. Uh, after some 
preparation with the shadows and I'm unswitching the shadows on the ground level, we get what we want. Now time to change the graphic of each element. I found some problems with, for example, my um, grass. Because I wanna change it uh, and uh, I cannot see it properly on my camera, that's why I'm redo it and I'm changing the elevation of that. So we change it and now let's change the color of that. I'm changing the color to the green one and I don't forget about the pattern because now I want to create the pattern with some, uh, for example, concrete and you will get something like it's grass. After that, hide some lines. You can hide it by join geometry or just use the line and hide the line. As you can see, we hide all, almost all the lines because I don't want to see all these lines. It's uh, making my drawing not like a union, not like a solid one. To, uh, to, for example, I hide some lines. I'm using the lines, as you can see right now. Now it's the problem with the connection. Let's connect it. And after that, go to the line, join it, and you can see it's not changing anything. You can go to the line and use the hide line. And just double click. And you will see it's not now there. Just a few seconds and your camera on the camera view you get what you want. After that, you just need to go back to the lines, line styles, and change the line to the white one if you want to make this style. Yes, this is taking the time and don't forget this is only working in one view what you're doing. For example, I'm, uh, I used this camera view and these white lines will be only on this camera view, not anywhere else. Be careful with that, because one you will change it, if you will print it, you will print with these lines too. Finally, time to export our image. You can use different settings to export it. I'm using the current view and zoom on the 100, 500% and the rest of uh, image quality like 600. Uh, if your machine is not powerful, let's uh, use the a bit uh, less settings. After that, I just opening the Photoshop. You can use any Photoshop. This is mm, I don't think so. This is really important. I'm using the uh, 2020. So and now I'm using the A3 format of the my mm, image. And after that, I just uh, using the some layers to place my. Uh, future drawing. Before I will uh, place my uh, isometric view, I just making some back uh, background draw um, background color. Actually, I want to use some gray one, maybe light gray. Let's see, and let's place my model. As you can see, my model becoming with the white background. It's easily to change. Just go back to the your image and use the magic tool and delete it. And when you will save it, save it with transparent, like I'm doing right now, and you will get on the, your main uh, drawing, on the, your main picture, you will get it transparent. Let's place the trees. Trees you can find around the internet, you can draw it in AfterCut, you can do it even in Revit, up to you. I just found it in internet, so just write the clip part of the trees and you will find it. After that, I'm just doing some arrows, as you can see, I'm gonna make the lines with dot. This is really simplest, you can find these tutorials in the internet or you can make my video two times slower and you will see how I did it. Now let's write the some text, this is, will be like some annotated thing, like like a ramp, like a stair, like a main stair, just text to what you wanna show. Don't use a lot of the text because the one you will place a lot of the text. Uh, the people who not architect or the people who an architect, they not will understand exactly what you wanna say to them. Just use like three or five on the picture and it will be enough. Of course, don't forget about the orientation, um, I mean about location, where is that? Just write, for example, the street where you will place it. How I'm doing, nice, 5th Avenue. Change, uh, for example, I'm changing to rotation and I just wanna place it like it's on the my ground. It will get the really nice view, as you can see, I really like it. So after that, just switch to the uh, place your 
for example name of your drawing I want to place name for, name for my uh, this image on the right side and I want to say this is like a park stair why not let's write there park stair we will change type of the text and we will change the color of this text too so now it's on the center and as you can see I'm using the some stroke to change it and I'm changing the color of that now I'm using the light white gray <laughs> let's say like this or oh, and I'm changing to the exactly white color again I'm using the uh, my picture like a reference to place my text because Now time to put some people on the, our drawing. Just find some people what you will like. I find really really nice people for now with the you know the situation with the around the world with the COVID and these people have the mask. So don't forget about the mask when you're going the outside. So the same thing I wanna say when I just placing this. Uh, people on my future drawing as you can see I found some people say so this this guy just cleaning uh, our tree uh, maybe our tree will uh, get uh, some uh, problem with the future virus and that's why this uh, guy is uh, cleaning as you can see I'm using the stroke because I have the white color on the his um, wear and the white color with the my trees and the stroke helping me to just divide it don't forget to use flip to use the mirror to place uh, your for example the people on the other part of your drawing so don't forget about that and find the really nice ideas with the people for example this guy wanna clean on my ground on my stair just make it smaller just place it the way it will be okay as you can see I just using the ways it will be okay that will be okay and I'm leaving the there and don't forget about the stroke as you can see when i'm using the stroke now you can exactly see uh, you can exactly see his um, costume and this will be nice and one nice idea what i found it because now uh, everyone now sitting at home and what you want to say for your friends of course you want to say for them stay stay home stay safe that's what i want to say to you Okay guys, this video is finished. If you want all the presets or if you want this model, you will find below this video. For those who are already uh, on, on this moment, please don't forget about the like, share this video. You will help to me and I will help to you. I will try to making the video kind of like that as much as I can. Thank you guys. Be safe. Stay home.